10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us now more with uh, what's going on with that trial and how local first responders spent the day preparing for a scenario just like that, Jenny. Yeah, very difficult testimony for so many in that trial, which does continue today. Last October, the shooter there pleaded guilty to the murders of 14 students and three staff members at Parkland's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on February 14th, 2018. He also pleaded guilty to 17 counts of attempted murder. The jury there is going to decide whether that 23 year old will spend life in prison without parole or death by lethal injection. The trial is expected to last through October. So while all that is going on a little closer to home, a very realistic school shooter drill for several Pinellas County agencies. Again, what you're seeing is just a drill. First responders, they only knew that there was going to be an active shooter drill, but they were not given specifics. And in this mock scenario, a female shooter enters the school looking for her husband's classroom. She shot her husband and then took off through the school shooting multiple students and staff. Again, I'm just talking about a drill. Law enforcement had to respond on the fly during the drill, eventually killing the shooter and ensuring the school was safe for rescue crews to enter. You, you've got to make this as real as possible to, to really see what somebody's going to do when they're uh, tasked with responding to the real thing. That is Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri saying they plan to do more drills like this one in the future and keep them realistic. Now, as far as drills for students that are in the classroom, for the students specifically here in Florida, the Department of Education is in charge of running those. They are required to have them, but psychologists say it is important that the drills that they are holding are age appropriate for kids to keep from causing more anxiety and stress on those students.